Hi, and welcome back to Quinoa Pod Creations tutorial videos. And today I'm going to be cleaning my birch bark. Um, we are going to be doing a project with my Facebook group this Sunday. Um, we ha I have sent out their kits. We're going to do an orange hand, the medallion that I had made. I'm going to teach my group how to do that. Um, I have some birch bark that um, needs to be cleaned and prepared for use on Sunday. Um, I have a very pair of very sharp um, scissors I kind of use for my applique. Um, soaked my birch bark. I've um, been soaking for a few hours. Um, so the scissors are very, very sharp and they're going to just clean off the most of the dirt, just to get it kind of decent to be able to handle. And not be so muddy and dirty. But that's fresh birch bark. <laughs> so I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to just scrape this top layer off of my birch bark because I want that. Uh, peach color underneath or that tan color whatever color you want to call it underneath there to show through when I'm doing my quills. I want to leave all the natural pieces of birch bark in there you know the scars and the scratches and lines so we're going to scrape over those and make them smooth. But I don't, we don't want to try to get them out. I want that look, that natural birch bark look that you get. Mm. Cutting a piece of wood or bark. You want that natural grain. If it doesn't come off easy, um, you might want to stick it back in the water and soak it a little more so um, kind of just wiping that dirt off as I go and scraping and smoothing the the base of the birch bark there and some of it some pieces of birch bark peel easy and some are pretty difficult um, so yeah we just want that smooth side to come through on the back side um, I don't usually worry about getting all of that off um, it would make it pretty thin but if you're gonna leave that on there you still want to get the chunks off. You want to make the back side smooth as you can so that it will adhere to um, the cardboard when we are going to glue the layers together to make the medallion. So just kind of scraping that and getting that smoothed off and kind of basically getting a clean piece of bark to use for your medallion. And just soak it again if it's not, if the bark is not um, You could soak it overnight. That would really get it good and soaked, but I didn't soak it for very long today before I did this. I'm going to get it done so it'll be ready for Sunday because it's going to need to dry. So we just keep scraping that outer layer off of there to ruin that smooth, beautiful color, tan. I don't know what color it would be, um, but um, 
Scissors are very, very sharp and just good. Uh, you could use an X-Acto knife. I just, and then scissors have give me more of a grip area than an X-Acto knife would. And I could be dangerous with one of those. So, try to see. <laughs> scissors give me something to hold on to. Um, Yeah, keep right on scraping and shaving. It's kind of actually therapeutic just preparing the bark, knowing that this was once on a tree and we're going to take the beauty of it and make our medallion with it. And this natural look of the birch bark is, is so beautiful. I, I think so anyway. So, wanting to keep those dark spots, but making sure that it's smooth. If you're going to leave a dark spot on there, make sure that it's smooth with the rest of it. So that it's, the whole piece would be smooth. Just working with working the bark, um, scraping off all that outer layer that protects the tree, um, letting the beauty of that tree come out. And just, I know I said it already, but it's just amazing to me what can be done. I'm just getting it scraped and smoothed out. roll that right off once you get it going it can if it's wet enough and it's uh, worked enough and just roll right off um, that, that pretty colors a little farther down than I thought uh, so I just Want that? See that pretty color? That's right there. That's the color that I like to have through. I might need to soak this piece for a while longer. Yeah, and just keep. Putting it back in the water if it's not getting scraped well enough. Um, I'm sure there's better tools that you would find or you could use. Um, I just find that the, my applique cutting scissors, I use them to cut out fussy cut flowers and things. So they've got to be very sharp. Mm -hmm. It really helps to have them nice and sharp and pointed. So once I see that where I want the color, the layer that I want, I kind of got to go for it and scrape everything else off to get that color I want. Kind of 
it, it just, it, it really is. Um, you see this scrape off, it just takes some time. I don't want to go too deep right away because voice of experience tells you that I've um, made some deep cuts and then kind of ruined the whole piece so I'm kind of real careful and take a little bit off at a time um, but keep going till I get the color and the texture that I want with the piece of birch bark so I got them pretty much cleaned off um, Anything else can just get rolled and smoothed out while you're working with me. So, um, that's my birch barks that I had soaked and scraped and cleaned and ready for our project. We will be having our beading circle session uh, Sunday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to take these um, pieces that I have and I'm going to put them underneath my cutting mat and have them held down by my uh, weights and get them to dry flat so that when we make our medallions um, it will be pretty much flattened out so well thanks for stopping by i hope the video was of some help to you and i hope that you enjoyed it so if you'd like you could come in and join my Facebook group and that's where you can join our uh, beating circle room on Sundays. Um, kits have already been sent out but I'm going to be making more kits and I will have them on my website which is www.quinwapawcreations.com You stop by there and look for a kit within the next week or two and then i will hopefully have a video for you to use to complete it thanks for stopping by